fixed cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. To disassemble the CM back, first remove both the dark slide and the film insert from the magazine housing. Work your fingernail or a screwdriver underneath the leather on the upper left hand corner and pull the leather loose. Once the leather is off, you can clean the uh, cement off both the side plate of the magazine and off the back side of the leather. Just rub your finger against the, the cement and it will roll right off. The three screws on the side plate need to be removed and pull lightly on the crank handle and the side plate will lift right up. If it takes more than light pressure to uh, pull the uh, side plate off, use a small screwdriver and pry partially loose uh, the, the front face edge. At this point, the side plate will lift free. Time to check the free movement of the ratchet engagement pawl of the wind crank. The bridge plate is held in place with two screws and it will need to be removed. Remove the two screws and lift the bridge plate free. At this point, it's a good idea to put a small amount of oil on the bridge plate cog. Now grasp the upper wind gear between your finger and thumb and using a curved tweezers, lift it free of its pin post. Gently rocking will help it lift free. Clean and lubricate as needed. Before proceeding any further, note the spring tension on the return wind gear. If the tension is allowed to release, suddenly it could spin off into the next room as the gear would then need to be rewound and the gear reset. Tedious and unnecessary unless the spring is actually broken. Okay, to move on, to remove the pin, grasp with a needle nose pliers and lift free. Before lifting the lower wind gear, grasp the return gear and hold it firmly so as to not release the spring tension that was shown to you earlier. You can move the film spool gear out of the way also. Now allow the tension on the gear to slowly return to zero position. To reinstall the return gear, wind the gear one and a half turns clockwise once initial spring resistance is felt. Do not let go of the tension on the return gear as you set the lower wind gear in place. The hubs of the various gears can be cleaned by dropping a cleaning swab stick down into the center of the hub and then rotating the gear around the back side of the swab saturated in some alcohol. With overlapping film frames of the Hasselblad CM back, the culprit is usually a sticking lever or dog leg on top of the lower wind gear. A small drop of light shutter oil on the pivot point of the dog leg will generally correct the issue. Preceding the application of the light oil lubricant to the pivot point, cleaning of that with some isopropyl alcohol might also be helpful. This short repair procedure will also correct frames that although not overlapping, are not spaced completely. Now, if only the first and second frames are overlapping, you only need to loosen the three screws that hold the counter dial. After loosening the screws, rotate the dial counterclockwise by a small amount. This will generally fix the problem. The counter dial has what might be called a sweet spot, and it must be in this spot or you will have problems with frames one and two overlapping. If the red and white flag is also not working, this adjustment will fix that too. However, in the case of this red and white flag, the spring has become detached and it needs to be reattached, obviously. Also of note, if the lever on the lower wind gear is completely stuck, it can actually jam the entire back. 
This condition is usually preceded by the overlapping film issue. The nylon dog leg lever attached to the body of the camera, if it is worn, can also cause the camera to jam. The slight amount of wear at the contact point of this lever is acceptable. Okay, time to reassemble. Before starting, placing a scribe mark at the point of uh, spring tension on the return gear is helpful in setting the clockwise tension turns. Installing the lower wind gear post, the short end shoulder goes up, the long end shoulder goes down. Apply light oil to the hub of the lower wind gear. Pay attention to the post on the lower side of the bottom wind gear. It should be located just to the right of the nylon dog leg. Tension the return gear one and a half turns clockwise and hold the gear. Position the lower wind gear as shown. Continue holding tension on the return gear and also now position the wind spool gear. With the three gears in the proper position, insert the lower wind gear pin. Remember to insert it with the long shoulder down. Once the pin is inserted, apply pressure with a flat side of a screwdriver as you gently move the lower wind gear to get the pin to line up with the hole. Once alignment is achieved, you will feel the pin seat as it drops into position. Once the wind gear post is in the proper position, the return gear can be released and the upper wind gear can be installed. The bridge plate can now be placed over the gears. Note the washer stuck to the bridge plate. Leaving the washer stuck like that's a good way to lose it. Probably should have been set aside. With the bridge plate in position, check the counter dial to make sure that it turns freely. Firmly tighten the two bridge plate screws with the properly sized slotted screwdriver. And now install the crank handle washer that was stuck to the bridge plate, followed by the side plate and crank handle assembly. Wiggle and turn the film crank handle until it drops into the ratchet. Again, be sure to use the properly sized slotted screwdriver so that it firmly sits into the slots of the screws as you install the side plate. Now the leatherette needs to be glued on. Because the leatherette lies flat and does not have to shape around any contours, it can be uh, glued in place with a light rubber cement or a office glue stick. If you want something a little stronger, then you can use ply bond glue. With the glue of choice applied, the obvious last step is to install the leatherette and test the function of the back. As we can see, the counter is working as it should, and with the procedure done, we can pretty much guarantee that the film frames will no longer overlap. Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.